This is the Madison Reed Hair Color Kit. And I'm gonna do an unboxing for you so you can see what you get when you order it. Okay, friends, I'm in a hurry and I have to get my hair colored and get out the door. So I didn't get all glamorous for you and I haven't slept for days. When the pandemic happened, I chewed off my acrylic nails and started coloring my hair myself. And it was fine. I was getting hair color from Sally's and it was great. And I had never done that before, but it worked and I looked fine. And then I decided to try this Madison Reed, because you hear it on every podcast, but not on my podcast, because I won't put ads on my podcast. You're welcome. But I always hear it, so I was like, okay, I'll try it. And I'll admit, the first time I tried it, I didn't like it. I didn't think it held. And the reason why was because I took this barrier cream that keeps it from like getting on your skin, and I think I put it into my hair, because it didn't get all the gray out around here. And I thought, well, this is garbage, but I think this on my hair. So anyway, I was like, I'm never using this again. But then I had an extra box because I forgot to turn off the auto order. So I tried it again because I was in despair and I didn't use this at all. And I got a little bit of black on my face, which came right off and ding, it held. So that was my user error first time around. I'm gonna show you um, how to do it. I don't know that Madison Reed would pick me as their person because I'm lazy and I don't do it perfectly. <laughs> I don't follow directions very well. You're supposed to wash your hair. I don't wanna wash my hair because then I have to dry my hair. It says you don't have to wash it right before, just make sure you don't have a lot of product on because then the color's not gonna stick. And I'm gonna have to tell you I haven't washed my hair in like five days and I've used so much dry shampoo that I guess, <sighs> oh, I guess I'm gonna have to wash and dry my hair. <laughs> but if I don't do that, then I show you and it doesn't work, then you're like, Madison Reed is the worst. And so, hold please. Okay, it's washed and now it's gonna take me six years to dry it because I have a lot of hair and there's a scripture that says, in the next life, not one hair of our head will be lost. And that might bring a lot of you comfort, but it doesn't bring me comfort because I've seen Cousin It and I've seen Chewbacca and that's what I'm gonna look like. So if you need to find me in heaven, that's probably what you're gonna hear. Okay, there Madison Reed, you're welcome. I had dried my hair just so this would be a great video and it would turn out right. Yeah. <laughs> Any of you guys used to watch Roseanne, Rosanna, Dana in, on Saturday Night Live? I Roseanne, Rosanna, Dana. Bo Derek. I'm not gonna go on because this isn't about Bo Derek. This is about Madison Reed. So here is how you do it. Um, <clears throat> you're supposed to separate your hair into five sections. I am not smart enough or coordinated enough to do that with this big thick hair. So I'll just show you how I do it. And it's probably wrong, but for lazy people like me, it works out. What you do is you take this radiant cream color. And did you guys know how easy this is? If you used to go find a pen or a fork to poke the hole, in the lid is the pokey thing. Man, I should put that on my hacks because maybe some people still don't know that, but it's a thing. We take the lid off this and we put this in here. But you use your muscles and you crank it into there. I'm gonna shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up. And luckily my arm is underneath here so you can't see it like wobbling, wobble. Now it's all mixed. So I normally like move up close to my mirror, but can you see my gray hair? It's right here. See this lovely, right there, right there. I don't have it all over, but mostly just like around my crown and up here. So it says to split it into four sections, but that gets confusing. <laughs> Why would that get confusing? I can't count to four. 
No, I don't really separate it. I'm not gonna lie to you folks. This is what I do. I don't follow their instructions, but it works. Ah! Oh, and this is it. <laughs> when you spray this all around, you might wanna stop your video and wipe it off because after a while, when it actually turns brown, then everything is stained in your life. You're gonna take it, and this bottle's really easy to do, and you're just gonna, oh no, you gotta put on your gloves. I almost forgot. But I just run it along like that area. You don't need to have a little brush even, you can just kind of do it with your fingers. I put it on my bad gray, and it says to use the barrier cream, but like I said, I think I got that barrier cream into my hair, and that was not a good day, because then it just, obviously, if it creates a barrier that the color can't get on, then you don't wanna put a barrier on your hair. So I have found that if you have one of those makeup remover towels, like this, that just wipe off your makeup, they'll get that black off, so don't worry about it. And if it doesn't come off the first day, then it's okay. Everyone will know you colored your hair at home. And who doesn't wanna know you're thrifty, right? We want everyone at the dance party to know we're thrifty, or at the inauguration, or whatever it is that you're going to before you get your hair done, it's good. Okay, so if you don't have a little brush, you can just you know, rub that in. <laughs> and all of you guys who've been doing your hair at home forever, you know more than I do how to do it. I don't know what I'm doing. So do it the way you normally do, but imagine you're using Madison Reed. I really make sure I get my grays good here because that's the part that I hate the most when it's in, I have to put it in a ponytail and then you can see all the gray. So I wear those headbands. But anyway, and Madison Reed might come do a follow-up video and say, don't do it like this, girls. She doesn't know what she's doing. It's unorganized and scattered because if you haven't listened to my podcast, that's kind of my MO for life unorganized and scattered. It's the way I do my hair, it's the way I live my life. I just keep pulling up more sections. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry you guys, this is terrible. Why did I think this was a good idea to show you the way that I color my hair? Because it's amazing that anything good comes from it. People that aren't super smart, that aren't that don't follow directions very well, even they, even they can use Madison Reed. And you don't know how to see the back of your head, then you're just gonna have to kind of guess. And the way my hair probably looks from the back is probably not super good. But you know what, what you don't know, it doesn't, it's not a big deal. And the people sitting behind you in church, if they're judging you because you have like a chunk of gray in the back of your hair, then they should be listening to the sermon about not judging. And then you should listen to the sermon about not being vain because both of those things would be lessons that people need to be learning right then. So now I flip my, <laughs> this is so disorganized. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, Madison Reed. I'm sorry I didn't put on any makeup all you. And I'm sorry my hair looks like Rosanna, Rosanna, Dana and all of the things, but trust me, in the end it works out. I'm gonna flip my head over and do a little bit on the back because I really don't have gray like down deep in this area. It's only really at the top, so I don't have to be super precise, but I don't wanna have some of my ponytail hanging out. You know, maybe you're a mom and you have like six little kids. I had five kids. Can you believe it? Everyone always says to me, you don't look like you had five kids. And I don't know what that means because I am carrying quite a lot of extra weight. Um, so I'm not sure what they mean. If they mean like, I'm not sitting in a corner going blah, 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 blah. It's because they're older now. I spent my some years losing my mind, but I'm better. And they just say that on a plane because they're never gonna see me again. And I'm pro they're probably lying. Oh, and if we're gonna talk about this product, because I probably should be talking about the product and not myself, because nobody cares. <clears throat> nobody cares about me. It smells a little bit like burned cigarettes, but it doesn't stay that way. And it's not overwhelming. Free of ammonia, parabens, resicarol, P, 
PD, flaccids, and gluten. It's gluten free. So if you are thinking of eating your Madison Reed and you have gluten intolerance, you have celiac disease, I wouldn't suggest eating it, but your hair is not gonna absorb it into your stomach. So that is good news. I think all the things about Madison Reed are very natural and healthy. Um, you know more about what should be in natural stuff than me, so you can go ahead and read. Supposed to be pretty good for the environment or your hair or your stomach or whatever. So that's good news for people who are really worried about that, worried about the gluten getting from their hair into their stomach because it, it's probably a gateway. After you've, with precision, put all of this on, I have a little bit of highlights that I got a while back, so I'm not gonna pull it through all of my hair just yet because I don't want all of those highlights to be gone. I just want this gray in the top gone and around my face. So I'm actually gonna, yeah, you saw it. Like trial number three. It does smell a tiny little bit like my neighbor who used to smoke a lot and she'd come over. It's okay, it's okay. Like, would I be remembering her at all if she didn't smell a little smoky? I don't know. I don't know if I would have even remembered that she came over when I was little. But since she did, I remember this smell. And I remember Shirley. Hi, Shirley, if you're out there. I kind of remember how you smell. Okay, now it says in the instructions that I rarely follow. If covering stubborn gray, grays, leave on for an additional 10. I'll leave it on for 40 minutes. And then, so it said use about half the hair color mixture. And I did that, I used about half. This is the part for covering grays. That's what it says to do. So I did that. And if you leave your instructions in the water, then they rip in half. So that's probably not a good place to put them. But it says to slip on the cap over the roots only. So I'm gonna do that because I am gonna follow the instructions because this is for you people. So if you wanna go like serve up some sloppy joe while you're waiting, that also works. Um, so it says put it on for 40 minutes, I'm gonna set the timer and then it says at that point, I'm gonna take the cap off and apply the remaining uh, mixture to the lengths and ends and then I'm gonna put it back on for five more minutes. So that's a good way so you don't have just like a dark spot on top and then the rest of your color just gives it, kind of pulls it down, but doesn't wreck any real highlights that you have. Okay, I'm back from making my Sloppy Joes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for my husband. I should have done all this when I was single because now he's gonna be so embarrassed. But you know what? He knew what I was when he picked me up, so. Okay, that's like the snake story, not like he picked me up at a bar or something, because. That's weird. We met at a family reunion in Alabama. <laughs> Not a bar. Okay, so I normally have a, a big comb that I use to kind of comb this through, but I can't find it as for my life. So basically, I'm just gonna put on, it says put it on and comb through, you know, like the rest of your hair. So I kind of just, ugh, in a very organized manner, And I wish I had my big tooth comb. That is really handy for this. It like just pulls it through much easier than me doing this here with my fingers. All right, I'm gonna comb it through with a brush. Oh, Madison, Madison, my darling, I'm sorry. Probably doing a terrible job selling your luxurious hair product. And just like this is gonna look crazy because I'm trying to hurry and I don't have my big comb to like get all the rest of it through here. So gosh, dang it. They have like this little gloss serum stuff. I'll find out what the name of it is, but it makes you look like a supermodel. I will put in a little chunk of a video that I did right after I had put it in my hair and it was money, man. Pantene was calling me. Everybody was calling me and saying like, can you be our spokesperson? Okay, that's not true at all, but it actually did look nice and my sister, wrote and said, are you a Pantene model? So I think that's almost the same. 
as Pantene calling you and asking you to be a model. Like Madison Reed wants you doing it this way I'm doing it. It's not professional in any way. It's not getting through all of my hair, but it's great. It's great, right? Because when this is all done and my hair is great, then you're gonna be like, if you have any sort of organization or brain, yours is gonna turn out so much better. I'm gonna put this on, comb this last bit through, and then put it on for five more minutes, and then wash it out, and then I'm gonna have to go pick up the child from school, and then after that, I will come home and dry it and show you how lovely it turned out. And here's a helpful hint. Um, before you go to wash your hair, open these up because when you're washing your hair and your hands are wet, they're almost impossible to open and then you're gonna wanna swear. So just open them before you start washing it out. All right, I'm back from school pickup. My grays are gone. I just wanna show you after my hair's been all done, I haven't put hairspray in it but I did put a little bit of product in it and I really think the color is just beautiful. It's shiny, it covered it well. I think um, even my oh, terrible job, the terrible job that I did doing it turned out really good. I mean, that looks like some salon quality color to me. It really does. So I have become a very big fan of the Madison Reed hair color. So you're welcome.